Chloe, you're okay. Let's go. Come, quick. Let's go. Run. Run. Not a word to anyone, understood? That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. Hollywood has promoted the idea that a young woman getting angry and punching someone in the face is, in their own words, brilliant. Put your right foot forward. Mm, you get a rasa? Because I got a few moves I know you'll like. Agent Carter. Colonel Phillips. Sandra Lynn of PRB wrote, Analysts reason that girls are more likely to act out or lash out due to changing gender role expectations. Yes, let us examine those gender role expectations. According to films and television, women are expected to kick ass. They are being led to believe that as strong women, they must physically, literally, actually kick ass. Women are being encouraged by film and television to rely on violence as a way to solve problems. Women are evidently listening because according to crime statistics, women are becoming more violent. A big problem is that these women are often lashing out at their own children. So it is conceivable that Hollywood is inciting mothers to beat their children. Good work, Hollywood. It has become nearly impossible to sit in a movie theater without seeing someone like this turn up. This is Anna Olaro as a cold-blooded assassin in Inferno. Gotta go. We've been developing a combat device. It's not responding to my command. It's gone rogue. This is your fault. You look sad, pathetic. Don't talk to me like that. New Supergirl, next Monday, or stream it live or on demand. Hollywood argued in favor of women becoming violently angry in a Supergirl episode called Red Faced. Supergirl has an encounter with a man whose reckless driving in a school zone nearly causes him to run down a group of school children. Teresa Giacino of the Mary Sue wrote, The driver throws a punch and she blocks it, hurting his widow hand. Suddenly she's the bad guy and gets told to manage her anger back at the DEO because that's what women are always expected to do. Control our anger even as men get to be ass clowns, because we're supposed to be above that or some bullshit. Kara Danvers, the real woman under the Supergirl costume, is also encountering anger issues at her office job. Cat Grant, Kara's boss, lets her know that she shouldn't be ashamed to get angry. Here's the thing, Kara, she says, everybody gets angry, everybody. And there is no pill that will eradicate this particular emotion. I know this because if there were such a pill, I would be popping those babies like Pez. That's fine. It's perfectly natural to get angry. But we have social constraints that limit the way that we can express our anger. Kat recommends that Kara take up boxing as a way to release her anger. She tells her that eventually, she will need to find the anger behind the anger. She says, you need to figure out what is really making you mad. This is, without a question, good advice, but like Jacino, Kat really does not think it's a good thing for a woman to have to restrain her anger. The real issue to her is that men are allowed to express their anger freely, while women are not. She says, whatever you do, you cannot get angry at work, especially when you're a girl. When I was working at the Daily Planet, Perry White picked up a chair and he threw it out the window because somebody missed the deadline. And no, he didn't open the window first. If I had thrown a chair, or my God, if I had thrown a napkin, it would have been all over the papers. It would have been professional and cultural suicide. This men can get angry claim is false. It is not socially acceptable for a man to throw a chair when he becomes angry with a subordinate at work. It is wrong for a woman to aspire to the sort of freedom that would allow her to drive a speeding car into school children. The idea that a woman shouldn't be harshly condemned for exploding in anger is foolish. In Always Shine, best friends Anna and Beth have a falling out during a weekend getaway. But this is not a Betty Davis melodrama. The women's anger and frustration is not expressed in cutting words or bitter tears. The women become increasingly violent with one another. Michelle Dockery, Lady Mary of Downton Abbey, recently took a violent turn when she went to work in Hollywood on the series Good Behavior. Let us take a look at the lead female of 12 Monkeys. 
Dr. Cassandra Raleigh, Amanda Schull, is a brilliant virologist who pursues her profession with deep dedication out of her compassion for people. She is gentle and caring. She wants to save lives. You want her around if you get shot because she is sure to drag you to safety and remove the bullet. By the end of the first season, this sweet and graceful woman has been abruptly transformed into a gun-toting badass who shoots lots of people. Think about this. Rally went on from being a woman who removed bullets from people to being a woman who fired bullets into people. The caring, brilliant healer has now been converted into a ruthless, sharp-eyed killer. This is more than a little regressive. Feminism has officially been weaponized. Comedy now provides violent women just as often as action thrillers, sci-fi adventures, and superhero dramas. A gun control policy has to be established just to deal with Melissa McCarthy, who has become a one-woman siege at the multiplex. It is time we disarm this gun-happy funny lady. Ms. McCarthy, please put your gun down and surrender to police. CIA training isn't what it used to be. Kiss your right asshole. It's a proton glove. It's going to maximize flexibility during hand to specter combat. Just give it a punch, it's motion activated. It's old-fashioned penis envy. A woman with a gun just needs a set of balls to make her life perfect. These two look like they're getting ready to scratch their balls. Hollywood wants to shape our young women into a generation of monstrously vicious, crotch-scratching soldiers for their leftist causes. It is a shameful endeavor. I thank you for watching. Please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. On your own from the age of 15, reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. The block we were chasing. You're not humans. What are you? Take him. Oh. Oh. All it takes is one punch. Is that too hard? Because it felt awesome.